Introduction Hello father mom told me to give you this tablet and after taking this you will feel better Okay give it to me Father how this tablet affects your health This tablet will give power to my body and then I will be fine Father what thing makes this tablet Rohit these are the supplement tablet and lactic bacteria is used in the tablet which gives power to my body father what is bacteria these are the single celled microorganism they are present everywhere such as in our food in air etc that's quite interesting father would you like to learn more yes father in this lesson you will learn how microbes are helpful to human life objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain that microbes are present everywhere explain products obtained from microbes at industrial level describe sewage treatment with the help of microbes explain the production of biogas with the help of microbes no microbes as bio control agents no microbes as bio fertilizers microbes in household product microbes are tiny organisms they are too tiny to see without a microscope yet they are abundant on earth they live everywhere in air soil rock and water these microscopic organisms are found in plants and animals as well as in the human body some microbes cause diseases in humans plants and animals others are essential for a healthy life and we could not exist without them most microbes belong to one of four major groups bacteria viruses fungi or protozoa There are many food products which are formed from microbes. For example, sauerkraut is produced by Leuconostoc and Lactobacillus species within shredded cabbage. Cucumbers are fermented by these same microorganisms to produce pickles. Microbes in industrial products. In industries microbes are employed to produce beverages antibiotics and other products at industrial scale we need large number of microbes so they grow in large vessels called fermenters fermented beverages yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae is essential to all alcoholic beverages it is a living thing trillions of cells in your fermentation vessel all hungrily turning sugars into carbon dioxide and alcohol different types of yeast produce different products such as wine beer whiskey etc antibiotics The first antibiotic discovered was penicillin by Alexander Fleming. An antibiotic is a drug that kills or slows down the growth of bacteria. Antibiotics are one class of antimicrobials, a larger group which also includes antiviral, antifungal and antiparasitic drugs. They are relatively harmless to the host and therefore can be used to treat infection. working of penicillin it works by preventing the production of a substance that forms the cell wall peptidoglycan this means the cell will continue to grow without dividing or developing new cell wall therefore the wall gets weaker and eventually ruptures chemicals enzymes and other bioactive molecules The following table 
gives a list of organic acids and the microbe employed in their production. The enzymes produced with the help of microbes are lipases, proteases and pectinases. Lipase is an enzyme which body uses to break down fats in food so they can be absorbed in the intestines. Proteases refer to a group of enzymes whose catalytic function is to break down peptide bonds of proteins. Pectinases is the collection of enzyme that is able to break down to pectins. Pectin is a substance which stabilize the cell wall of plant cells. Bioactive molecules the bioactive molecule cyclosporin A is a powerful immunosuppressive agent whose lack of myelotoxicity makes it unique among non-steroidal drugs currently given for immunosuppression. It can be produced by fungus trichoderma polysporum. Microbes in sewage treatment the municipal wastewater called sewage contains large amount of organic matter and microbes in which many are pathogenic and some are other heterotrophs. The sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants STPs before it is discharged into water bodies to reduce the pollution load. The treatment involves two steps. Primary treatment in a primary sewage treatment, wastewater is relieved from the contaminants like coarse sands, pebbles, organic and inorganic wastes, fatty substances, etc. The municipal water waste consists of large objects like rags, cans, tin, etc. which are removed by screen. This is necessary because the presence of these objects can harm the sensitive parts of the plant. Followed by the screen, there is a grit chamber that are used for removing sand and other heavy inorganics. The materials so collected in the grit chamber are collected and bagged for disposal. Some plants use sedimentation stage in which the sewage is passed through large tanks which are called as primary clarifiers or primary sedimentation tanks. In these tanks, floating materials are removed and homogeneous liquid is ready for the biological treatment whereas the sludge is separated for the separate treatment. After that, the effluent from primary sedimentation tanks is taken for secondary treatment. Secondary treatment or biological treatment Secondary sewage water treatment method uses aerobic biological process to degrade the biological content of the sewage like human waste, food waste, soaps and detergent. In this method, bacteria and protozoa convert the biodegradable soluble organic contaminants into flock. It reduces the BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand of effluent. BOD refers to amount of oxygen required by aerobic microorganisms to decompose the organic matter in a sample of water such as that polluted by sewage. It is used as a measure of the degree of water pollution. As the BOD of the effluent goes down, the effluent is then passed to final settling tanks where the bacterial flocks are allowed to sediment. This sediment is called activated sludge. Small part of the activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank which serves as an inoculums and major part is used for production of biogas. The recycled water is used for agricultural uses. Microbes in production of biogas 
Biogas is a mixture of gases containing predominantly methane produced by the microbial activity and which may be used as fuel. Cow dung is the main source for the biogas as the bacteria in dung has more potential than others. Methanobacterium These are the bacteria found in the rumen, a part of stomach of cattle. The rumen is the most significant part of the cow's digestive system as the methanobacterium makes it different from other animals. We use cattle excreta in the biogas formation due to presence of methanobacterium. The methanobacterium produces methane gas which is highly inflammable. In rural areas, we can see the biogas plants. This bacteria also converts the bio waste into useful manure. Biogas plant The biogas plant is a brick and cement structure having the following five sections. Number 1. Mixing tank Number 2. Inlet chamber Number 3. Digester Number 4. Outlet chamber Number 5. Overflow tank Working Number 1. The various forms of biomass are mixed with an equal quantity of water in the mixing tank. This forms the slurry. Number 2. The slurry is fed into the digester through the inlet chamber. Number 3. When the digester is partially filled with the slurry, the introduction of slurry is stopped and the plant is left unused for about 2 months. Number 4. During these two months, anaerobic bacteria present in the slurry decompose or ferments the biomass in the presence of water. Number 5. As a result of anaerobic fermentation, biogas is formed, which starts collecting in the dome of the digester. Number 6. As more and more biogas starts collecting, the pressure exerted by the biogas forces the spent slurry into the outlet chamber. Number 7. From the outlet chamber, the spent slurry overflows into the overflow tank. Number 8. The spent slurry is manually removed from the overflow tank and used as manure for plants. Number 9. The gas valve connected to a system of pipelines is opened when a supply of biogas is required. Microbes as biocontrol agents Biological control is the deliberate use of one organism to regulate the population size of a pest organism. Biological control of pests and diseases. This can be done by introducing various predatory insects or mites or parasitic wasps or nematodes that infect the pest with a fatal bacterial disease. It is a safe method of pest control for both edible and ornamental plants that can give excellent results under the right conditions. For example, Bacillus thurigenesis is bacterium whose spores are toxic to certain insect larvae and kill them but is not harmful to other insects. Another biological control being developed for treatment or control of plant disease is the fungus trichoderma which is free living in soil and root ecosystems and is effective against several plant pathogens. Microbes as biofertilizers Biofertilizer is a substance which contains living microorganisms which when applied to seed, plant surfaces or soil colonizes the rhizosphere or the interior of the plant and promotes growth by increasing the supply or availability of primary nutrients to the host plant. Bacteria, cyanobacteria and fungi Mycorrhizae are the three groups of organisms used as biofertilizers. 
bacteria, for example, rhizobium, azotobacter, azospirillium, etc. Rhizobium is a soil habitat bacterium which is able to colonize the legume root and fixes the atmospheric nitrogen symbiotically. Cyanobacteria In water-logging condition, the cyanobacteria multiply, fix atmospheric nitrogen and releases it into the surroundings in the form of amino acids, proteins and other growth-promoting substances. Examples of cyanobacteria Cytonema Blue green algae, microcystis, etc. Fungi or mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae are a group of fungi that grow on the roots of plants. In fact, seedlings that have mycorrhizal fungi growing on their roots survive better after transplantation and grow faster. The fungal symbiont gets shelter and food from the plant, which in turn acquires an array. Of benefits such as better uptake of phosphorus, salinity and drought tolerance, maintenance of water balance and overall increase in plant growth and development. Did you know? Researchers get skin virus to knock out acne. Harnessing a virus that naturally preys on the bacteria that causes pimples could offer a promising new tool against the physical and emotional scars of severe acne. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Microbes are tiny organisms. They are too tiny to see without a microscope, yet they are abundant on earth. They live everywhere, in air, soil, rock and water. Most microbes belong to one of four major groups, bacteria, viruses, fungi or protozoa. In industries, microbes are employed to produce beverages, antibiotics and other products. The first antibiotic discovered was penicillin by Alexander Fleming. The enzymes produced with the help of microbes are lipases, proteases and pectinases. Microbes are used in sewage treatment. Treatment involves two steps. Number one, primary treatment. Number two, Secondary treatment Biogas is a mixture of gases containing predominantly methane produced by the microbial activity and which may be used as fuel. Biogas is produced in biogas plant. Biogas plant is structure made of brick and cement. It has following five sections. Mixing tank Inlet chamber Digester Outlet chamber and overflow tank. Biological control is the deliberate use of one organism to regulate the population size of a pest organism. Biofertilizer is a substance which contains living microorganisms which when applied to seed, plant surface or soil colonizes the rhizosphere or the interior of the plant and promotes growth by increasing the supply or availability of primary nutrients to the host plant. Bacteria, cyanobacteria and fungi, mycorrhizae are the three groups of organisms used as biofertilizers.